All right, welcome back, everybody. Game one of Amber Steel Wheel on the play. I like this hand for the most part. I can probably get rid of the let the storm rage on and the queen. Actually, let's keep. Yeah, let's just get rid of let the storm rage on and the grab your sword. Those two unequable cards I'm getting rid of. We'll play the queen on turn one in case we top deck the uh, shift version, the commanding presence. Can't shift uh, with big stitch until turn four anyways. They forget they have to hit pass. Oh, okay, playing Lilo. Sure. Uh, this isn't gonna do anything at the moment. Simba, I'm assuming. Okay, makes sense too. Yeah, we don't want to play Ariel this turn. Just get rid of that. There is merit to playing that though. We're not going to take a whole new world, obviously, but we could take the uh, world's greatest criminal mind for ink. Yeah, let's do that. And obviously not attacking with these. There was merit to not taking this card. Just because if we wanted to uh, shift into big stitch, ink aerial, and then just uh, sing a whole new world. But I don't think we need to do that just yet. We can probably do that in the following turn since they're just like bouncing their creatures back to their hand. Yeah, I like just inking this. Then we can just shift and then pass for now. Hmm. I'm a little confused why they keep doing that. Okay. Say it's about that time. And we can just pass at this point, I think. I mean, these are exerted, so we might as well. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, we can just. Uh with these guys since these guys are already easy targets. We have another Rockstar Stitch anyways. Yep. Yep.
I'm using Ariel to sing this because I plan on using, I plan on shifting with the Cinderella. Not like this, so I can shift here, play Stitch. That way next turn I can shift if I want. start here. And questing here is just fine. They have no rats in their deck, so yep, that was easy. Okay. Cool. I, it seemed like they didn't really know what was going on, but either way, we'll take the win. Game two on the play. Okay, so we have the queen shift combo. And get rid of some of these things. Ugh. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll end up keeping one lantern. Yeah, I just, it, it's awkward because I want to get rid of the inkables and keep these uninkable cards. Uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> no worries, we can just ink these. And we don't need to play this now, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. We just won't play it now. We have the lantern, so we can play it the next turn if we want. Red, blue. Okay, didn't see that coming. Maybe I should have. Come on, whole new world. Actually, it wouldn't have been that bad if we had these both. Uh... We still had our big stitch. Be able to draw some cards.
should be able to get rid of both of these though this turn We've gone through a lot of cards, definitely not good for us. a lot more cards than I have. There's a chance I could just mill them out. The fishbone quill is been what's getting us though. Or I mean what will get us. Pretty good. Yeah, they're most likely going to have answers to everything at play, but forcing them to maybe like be prepared or whatever, and then just uh, eating their whole deck, that might just be it. So hopefully I don't draw additional copies of a whole new world while I have one in hand already. I thought about playing Let the Storm Rage on on their Irem. I think this is fine. 
Now they're just they're down to 11 cards left in their deck. They can't realistically draw any more with this anyways. I'm still ahead on lore, so they have to keep playing stuff. I still have grab your sword, even shift queen plus uh Oh. Dang. Okay. Well, good on them. Uh, Lady Tremaine, I'm assuming? That would make more sense why they just uh, proactively killed... Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Why they proactively uh, just killed my one-drop queen. <laughs> Took a card. cards left. Yeah, I highly doubt they can kill me in two turns. Can't sing right now. So I think we're fine just playing our Simba. Not bodyguarded, obviously, and then just uh, shooting down their Lady Tremaine. swords three a whole new world you have one card left okay so what is the play here they put lethal on their board See, if I take away the Hades, then they'd quest for two, three, four, five, six. They'd quest for six up to 19. None of these guys can shift into something bigger, so they can't just find an extra one point. Worst case scenario, I can shift queen and then just uh, quest plus uh, Simba can eat the Hades. And once again, that they'd be able to gain two, three, four, Five, six up to 19. Right now, we can just use Ariel to find a whole new world. So let's just start there. We just went off the bat. No, not today. Okay, so since that's the case, we'll just do what I said and uh, yeah, so plus four, minus four, we're gonna do minus four here, plus four to Simba. What else? I guess we can play tank and get rid of the grandma. Uh, 
And yeah, that hopefully should be it. They only have this turn to kill me. I can only get five. Cool. All right, that was a good game. We'll take it. Game three on the play, 2-0 and so far. Can we just keep this hand? Not having a two kind of sucks. Let's just ditch the Rapunzels. Maybe we can find a uh, one drop queen. I like everything else in this hand though. Simba's, Simba's pretty good though too. Yeah, I guess we can actually ink Ariel here since we have the since we have the queen. And let's just not run into the Queen of Hearts. No merit in just killing that. annoying, but the queen can still sing a whole new world. That's definitely not what we wanted, but I guess it doesn't really matter. shifting now. Yeah, so it just won't. Yeah, Fishbone Quill is super annoying. That card's just really good against the whole new world. I think this matchup would be a lot better if they weren't able to just empty their hands so well with Fishbone.
Yeah, this this game looks pretty bleak, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just gonna pack this one in. No use wasting anybody's time. GG's opponent. Alright, game four on the play. Two and one so far. I don't really care for these songs, honestly. We can get rid of the first big Cinderella, even though we have this one in our hand. We were Punzel as well. really weird but I mean we have a whole new world so we'll see what happens Jasmine Queen of Agrabah hmm okay they're on the heel stuff Could play Simba and start questing. I think we'd just be too far away, honestly. It costs five to shift into the Cinderella. Good news is that let it go would give us two ink instead of just one. And can't really challenge Cinderella effectively here. Unless, um. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> Yeah, not having a grab your sword this game was actually just huge. Without a senior grab your sword with a whole new world, it just would have been insane.
else is pretty good. Weird game. Cogsworth is like crazy annoying. I desperately need another grab your sword. Oh, wow. only hits Hogsworth, but... Was crazy. I guess we got super lucky there. Oh, well, we'd love to see it. We take that all day. All right, to game five. You're on the play this time. Let's get rid of Big Stitch, one Cinderella, and probably the Rapunzel. I like keeping the rest. All right, we've got a whole new world. Okay, just ink this one. Wheeling on turn three is pretty stupid. Wow. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to go to a sixth game because that was kind of silly. All right, one more. One more bonus game. But for reals, though, we were able to go four and one. That's just how stupid this deck was. All right, bonus game. On the draw this time. Oh, this hand's interesting. Ink, get rid of one of the storm, let the storm breach on, and let's get rid of one of the tanks. I like everything else though. Alright, I think this is the same opponent.
hand is kind of clunky, unfortunately, at the moment, but hopefully we can overcome that. Hmm. We probably could have just uh, killed their smaller Flynn there. I don't want to take any chances. It's extremely important that we get our stitch. Uh, yeah. It's really important that we get our stitch uh, online. This one. Shift here. I will just eat that one. And they literally have one card in hand. I guess we don't need a wheel then. They just wanted to dump their hand against a whole new world. Awkward that I can't play this. Ah, oh, that was stupid. I should have fought the other way. Okay. Alright, let's just do it. This could have been a punt, but I think, yeah, Stitch fighting a Flynn would have made more sense. Now this... I, I sang that so the Cinderella can just, um, eat the daisy. Even though their hands full, our board is so much better, I just don't see us losing this. French John can do some crazy things, but I think what we're going to be doing is going to be a bit better. Okay, grab your sword off the top. Yeah, well that, <laughs> well that just makes it easy. Start with tank. And then we'll sing. Yeah. Alright, yeah. The, yeah, that was a weird game. I definitely um, misplayed with the uh, earlier when the Stitch challenged. I just should have had... Uh, I should have challenged the other way around. That made me have to uh, wheel again so I can keep my Stitch alive. Whatever. It, 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 evidently, that game was punt-proof. <laughs> so it just goes to show how powerful this deck is. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we went 5-1. Uh, and one. 
thanks a lot for watching guys uh, make sure to leave a comment to um, let me know where I punted super hard <laughs> I want to get better at this game just like y'all do all right thanks a lot